Welcome back to 35mm. We return to the somewhat awkward place where I left off in the last episode, where we are someone who needs to dial a number ourselves manually, and there's a bunch of numbers around us. Hello, is it you, Anne? Da, da. Yes, yes. How's our little girl? That's, that's fine. Hey Anne, I'm going on a business trip. What if I come up to see you one of these days? Okay. okay. I'll wait. Bye. Yes. We're here for you fuckers. Oh no. Is this the people we beat up, waking us up from the dream and they're actually here? Underneath the house? Oh, I can move? Sorta? Of. <laughs> I can shimmy? Shimmy along? Oh, I could probably cut the rope on this thing. Looks sharp. I need to hold forwards. Yeah, it's strange. So, does backwards work? Backwards doesn't even work. So it's like sort of movement. I sort of have character movement here, or like simulated character movement, because I can't actually move wherever I want. It's just if I press the forwards button or hold it down, it kind of progresses through the cutscene, basically by having my character move on like a preset track. So if I hold down up, this happens. It's very strange. Yeah, I feel like I have to hold forwards to play the movie. Okay, where's everyone else? What the hell did you do with my husband? I need to get out. Yes. I hope they didn't kill the people. That showed us hospitality before. Oh! Is this going to be a QTE? Move, old man. Okay, then. Take this one in the car, too. Where are we going? Oh, 
There you are. Where are we going, guys? Just a little walk? Can I have a cigarette? Yeah, of course. Nice. Let me free you. Oh, in control now. I should be shooting those people. Should I? I can't look down the sights or anything? Okay. Shit. <laughs> I think I just died. Also, I ran out of ammo. Not entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing? Just run? Is that it? Okay. Are you, you gonna come with me? Damn, it hit me much. Is my husband dead? Okay, you are coming, kinda. Sorta. Keep going? I was going the whole time. <laughs> they were clear of the gunfire. Need to wait for my mate. Come on, mate. Shit. They too injured? Medical package. Yep, uh... Just press D on him? I guess that worked? Yeah. Good thing I had one. Need to get out of here right now. Yep, let's go. You know, you might want to run. This game is so charmingly awkward. Петрович, у тебя остался кто-нибудь из прошлого? Петрович, do you have someone from your last Семья. life? Family? Друзья. Friends? Семья. My family. Только But they're far from here. Далеко они. Так ты их искать собираешься? So, are you gonna find them? Uh, 
а я как был отшельником, так им и остался. Lived my whole life in the fast lane. I was everywhere and, and nowhere. I was with everyone and anyone. Surrounded by different people here and there. But my soul was lonely and empty. I hope we're not being tailed. to explore all this? Do we get to go inside of that huge apartment building? Apartment complex? Did you hear something about pension boar? What? Government rest houses for bureaucrats and their families. Didn't want to... Oh, they're gonna keep talking. Uh, while mere mortals were counting pennies, here was everything. Sausage, red caviar, bread and circuses. <laughs> Life's two necessities, circuses and caviar. I've been here. A lot of things are hidden here from everyone's sight. We need to get to that side of the section. Oh, you got your own light. Nice. Let's go through the housing, so we don't hang around outside. It's a good idea. I'm gonna go hang around outside. <laughs> There's stuff to explore. Such a big open place. Uh, when the ep epidemic... Oh, damn, oh, they're gonna keep talking. Reached its height, they had to re-equip some contractions into a hospital. Same thing happened to Boar. So this place was used to... Yeah, there's a hospital bed. This place was used to store patients during the epidemic. Have to use any bit of... Any bit of, uh... Housing? It's not the right word. Any bit of room that you can. Am I free to go without you talking? I don't want to miss what you're going to say. Okay, they stopped moving. I think we're good. Yeah, this is such a wonderfully huge place to explore. I mean, I'm probably not going to get to explore that whole building up there, but still, just seeing it. Also, why is my view all, like, wobbly? My oh, I'm hurt. Um, I don't want to use up my last med kit in case I need it for my friend again, because when I used the med kit on them after they had collapsed after they'd been shot, it did that little like white flash thing in the noise, like you did something good, which makes me think it was optional. And if I didn't have a med kit or chose not to use one, perhaps I could have continued and my friend wouldn't be here with me. Maybe they would have died and just been left behind. So I want to make sure I have a med kit in case I need it. Let's just eat a whole bunch. <laughs> the cure for any pain. There we go. Yeah, it's quite a bit easier to see. I thought everything looked extraordinarily dark. Now it's slightly less extraordinarily dark. My husband was talking about the... the history of this place. The something bore place for bureaucrats and basically rich people, anyone who's not the common people. Now they had everything here, while other people had nothing. This looks like a huge place for performances, a sort of theater. The culture and art that poor people wouldn't have access to. Such 
such an empty, lonely place. Doubly so because now I know the context of it. Not just because it's after the epidemic and most people are dead and everything's becoming overgrown and so this is just dark and abandoned, but also just on top of it. That it was a place for rich assholes, a place that other people couldn't access. Other people were probably starving. And some people were just here watching theater. Okay. Let's explore. What a majestic building they built before. Inspiring. These? These buildings? I, the word majestic does not come to mind. Honestly, they're really... They feel very oppressive. Not because of the history of them, but because they're incredibly blocky and just look like they're made out of drab concrete. Like they're very ugly. They seem very functional. Like, no care has been given to any sort of artistic uh, flair. And functional buildings aren't the sort I'd call majestic. Okay, I just maxed out the brightness just so you can see a little bit more. I can't adjust it very much, but it definitely is so dark. Where does this go? There must be something special back here. Hope it's more than just food. Oh, it's just food, isn't it? Oh, a special thing. Who's that? These lands are not abandoned as it seemed. It's always so weird when we see people. They're carrying something. A bag, suitcase, backpack, something in their hand. I don't have any way to zoom in. Hold on, do I have... Yeah, I have the gun. And I even have bullets left with it. And there's a number next to it, probably extra bullets, so I guess that's a whole thing. I can use the gun. <laughs> I could shoot at the far figure. <laughs> I don't want to watch them until they're out of sight. See them going behind the... in the middle of the two trees, just to the right. I think they're going around the side of the building on the right. Yeah, they're just behind the tree now. Okay. What's this? I'm glad I tried to use that battery. We've seen many others, but I've never been able to take them. I guess we're gonna need it for something. Let's get closer to this apartment complex. Listen to that roar. It's coming from that direction. It's not like a total ambient sound. It's actually coming from a place. It's coming from there. Like newspapers floating in the wind. There is an inside to this place. At least on the bottom floor. Just more temporary hospitals. Body in a body bag. Does my husband go upstairs? Assumes that the main window is armored, so it's not easy to break. What are you talking about? 
Talking about this? Is that why we have to go upstairs? I wasn't even thinking about breaking it. Okay. Nice little shortcut. Let's go check out the stage. Let's put some new batteries in. See if that... Yeah, that definitely made it brighter. I don't think I can break this door. Oh, there's actually physics for the red curtains. Cool. I noticed there was some cloth physics on the like blankets and stuff uh, drying out up there in front of the apartment buildings. Oh, this one's openable. The other one by the apartment complex wasn't. Well, now I gotta try them all. Yeah, that one I can't do anything with. It's arbitrary which ones you can use and which ones you can't. Upstairs. Architecturally, this is a weird design. Why are there no stairs up to this thing on this side? Like, there's even a hole through the bars here. Damn it. Fuck, is that how you died? Maybe there was a trap right over there in front of that door. <laughs> they got the first one, I got the second one. Well. Uh, I'm gonna use that medkit. And eat all my food. I hadn't seen one of those in so long, I just forgot about it. Listen to that echoey click of the camera. It's a whole lot of gas masks in there. bodies. God, they look so emaciated.
for traps. Hmm. That's a unique painting. Or picture. Looks like a painting. I don't think I've seen that anywhere before. I don't think we see many paintings or pictures at all, really. That's why it stands out so much. World began to go crazy before all these events. If this was considered an art. Horish scribblers who covered his inability to draw. What the fuck? So this is, is this a haha -ha abstract modern art? Also, what the hell does Horish scribblers mean? That's a nasty group of words. Making me not like you so much, buddy. Uh, what is this character's name? Petrovich? That's me, right? This character, not the other one. I think I'm Petrovich. Can I, hold on, can I turn on that computer? <laughs> I gotta try. Oh, it's even a brand name. Cooler Master. I like that you can just spin that as much as you want, and it doesn't do anything, just fun to spin. Yeah, what is the year, by the way? Because this is surprisingly modern stuff. I mean, LCDs? It's fairly recent. a kid. Alright, let's go. Oh, actually, wait. There's an upstairs. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, I gotta cut that with my knife. Alright, let's check upstairs then. Why would somebody put that on their wall? Uh, is that from after the epidemic? Did someone take that picture with a really large format, like Polaroid kind of camera, and then frame it and then put it here? Because that seems like it's from after the epidemic. <laughs> it looks wildly out of place. What was that? I didn't even jump. I think the drawer pushed me and it made my character. Yeah, it makes my character jump when it pushes into the legs. Mmm. I see. Why are there four dots that appear when I try to use it? Like one dot, two dot, three dot, four dot, and then it disappears. All right, I gotta be on the lookout for a password. Could it be? The number of fruits on the table, four. A password of one digit? Probably not. We were brought here three days ago. 
scary. Everywhere is a terrible, putrid smell. Probably lots of souls left our sinful world in this place. I try to keep optimistic, but there's still no improvement to observe. It's hard to think about death. It's hard to imagine that at some point you stop to feel, to dream, to think. Because we've always been able to. The world exists for us only because of the possibility to feel it. At such moments, only a faith in, in something, something like God, can help us. Faith in, in the fact that after this life comes another one. Although it's hard to be an atheist because it's not easy to believe in such things. Well, we'll see it after the death. darkness really is like oppressive it feels like the darkness is an actual presence it's so dark maybe I need batteries again I think that helped a little bit what I looked I looked down there for a trap I didn't see anything the hell? Fucking invisible trap. Maybe they're harder to spot than I thought. Well, I'm almost dead again. October 28th, we were brought to Boar. They must have been looking at us through the card file of the medical department? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, we got uniform, protection equipment. They didn't give us instructions. The only thing they said was that the patients need care. Then there were only a few dozen. Basically eggheads and money bags. In a week, they brought here a crowd. And then we did not know where to put the corpses. All halls and rooms are filled with patient patients. We try to support them, but people die like flies. Thank God I seem to have an immunity from the virus. But the problem is that they don't let us leave the territory. The area is patrolled carefully. But most of the guards are at the entrance three. From time to time, they take in there a group of people, serious and silent. They're brought in an armored car, escorted to the building, and then we do not see them anymore. Just like they simply went down the tube. So, killing... Are they killing people that are about to die, I guess, on the verge? Like, just disposing of them? Taking them to be burned or whatever? Oh, that's part of the password, isn't it? Roman numeral? Oh, no. No, it's not. It's just which page I have selected. Uh... I can't look at it again? Okay. That's my allotted portrait time. See if I can get myself blown up even more.
You know, I haven't moved stuff to get on top of it to, like, get to a secret place up there in the ceiling since the beginning of the game. Also, I don't think anything's really been movable for the most part since the beginning of the game. I can't even move these chairs. It's weird. It's like they put that in the beginning, which I thought would be to establish it as, like, a thing you can do, but I think they just wanted it for the very beginning and then forgot about it. Nothing in there at all. I go out the window? Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to be here. I also don't know if there's falling damage. Oh, I could probably totally get out of bounds. <laughs> Jump on top of one of those shipping containers. Walk off into the distance. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to be here. Can't climb the vines. I really want to get inside that safe. Makes me wonder if there's any other windows I can get out of. Let's continue on. eerie red light here. Guess reflected from the curtains or something? God, this whole damn place is so eerie. It's fucking terrifying to be inside of a massive, cavernous, abandoned hospital that's incredibly dark and filled with blood and old dead bodies that died from an epidemic. And also, by the way, at any point, you might step across a trap that blows your legs up. <laughs> 